Hello, my name is Kaushik and in this video I will be discussing about types of port interfaces that are available in Autosar. Coming to the definition of port interface, it is the highest level of description of information exchanged between components in an Autosar system. This is the component that is used by software component to communicate. It is like a door for a software component. There are two types of ports, P port which is, which is also called as provider port and another is a R port which is called receiver port. Two components are eventually connected by hooking up a P port of one component to a compatible R port of another component. Now let's see different communication methods or mechanisms available. And in the coming slides, I will also explain uh, these with the help of an example. There are two communication methods used in Autosar. First one is client server mechanism. Here P port is used to provide the operation definition, which is called the server. And this is the symbolic representation of a server. R port is used to invoke the operation, which is called a client. This is a symbolic representation of a client. The client initiates the communication and requests a service from the server. The server performs the request service and sends a response to the request. The client could be locked while it is waiting for an answer from the server. The client or server roles are defined by who is initiating the communication and could be switched. A software component can at a time act as both client and server in different communications. The second communication method is sender receiver mechanism. P port is used to send the data out which is called the sender and this is the symbolic representation of a sender. R port is used uh, to read the data which is called the receiver and this is a symbolic representation of a receiver. The sender expects no answer from the receiver and there will be no answer. Thus, sender is not blocked. The receiver decides on its own how and when to act on the received information. The interface structure is responsible for the communication and the sender doesn't, doesn't know how uh, or who the receiver is or if there, is, there are more than one receiver. The sender doesn't know in what issue the receiver is situated. Now let's see an example to understand the difference between these two methods in a better way. Consider a heating controller as the application software component and two heating coils and one LED dial as the sensor and actuator software components respectively. The heating controller and the he heating coil software components are connected via the client server interface. The heating controller and LED dial software components are con connected via sender receiver interface. So here whenever the heating controller needs to get the temperature information from heating coil the heating element which is acting as a client will request for the service and the coil will act as the server which serves the requested service by responding to the service request. But in case of information to the LED dial the requirement is just to send the information or data about the heating coils to LED dial for displaying. So a sender receiver interface is used. The heating controller which is the sender will send the data directly to the LED dial which is the receiver. So hope you are, you are now able to understand the port interfaces in Autosar. Please do like the video, comment if you have any questions, share it to someone whom it would help and also subscribe for more such videos. Thank you all and I will see you in a next video with some other topic on Autosar.